Hey guys, it's a very special something's burning. The Burger Cook-Off with Sebastian Maniscalco and celebrity guest Judge Roy Choi. That sounds really over the top. Let me tell you something, Roy. Uh, Sebastian's taking this very seriously. Really serious. You have no From idea. The he there's, in. <laughs> there's not one thing he does that he hasn't thought out in life, correct? Yeah, I like to be prepared. I like yes. to kind of know where I'm going with this. There was a mm. practice run I did last night with the family <laughs> to see how they would turn out. Uh, kind of worried today because uh, I, I haven't worked on this grill before. Yeah. Um, so I'm not making excuses. I just don't know temperature-wise how this is going to uh, marry with my burgers. So uh, I noticed a couple things uh, from the competitor over here. Uh, if you want to get a, a, a shot of the tomatoes, yeah. they've been baking in the sun, yes. which is going to affect right. his, uh, his yeah, burgers. I'm taking all that in. They're okay. sun dried right. tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> I have none of my ingredients out. You, brought, going... you brought ingredients, correct? Yeah, I brought He's ingredients. I mean, do you realize um, this was like, I, I, I am so impressed, Sebastian. Mm, Shut yeah, up. Yeah. Excuse me. I love how he hasn't exposed anything until the moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, got a little apron here, gonna get dirty. Gonna... You know he cooks for his family in a chef's outfit? <laughs> yeah, I have a... I have swear, a... God, I'm, not jo I'm not joking. Wears Crocs, too, when he starts cooking, am I right? Thing. The yeah. whole thing. I would've wore it today, but I know it's gonna be pretty hot, so uh, just came in uh, just uh, normal streetwear. <laughs> as, as we talk, I'm just gonna unload. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 okay. make yourself comfortable. Yeah. I'm gonna get my side ready. All so, right. Roy, uh, so Sebastian, do you know how Roy and I know each other? Uh, no. I'm gonna tell you, so I'm gonna tell everyone everything you need to know about Roy. And by the way, I speak, I speak in hyperbole, so if I say like real big things, you don't need to correct me and go, I'm, I'm actually not a celebrated, you know, yeah. whatever. I'm Joe, Co Joe Coy with the jet. You're Joe <laughs> Coy with the jet. <laughs> say everything. So Roy and I lived next door to each other on Detroit Street back yeah. in the day. My wife was the uh, apartment manager, and Roy was just, Roy and his wife and his daughter, we have daughters the same age. Swear to you, swear to you, Roy sits down one Thanksgiving, on, the, on our couch, we just had dinner. He's a, uh, he was a, uh, the executive chef at Rock Sugar. And he says, you know, I'm thinking of leaving my job. I said, really? He goes, yeah, I think I'm gonna quit the job and I think I'm just gonna get a taco truck. And I went, what? And he goes, yeah, I'm gonna get a taco truck and do like, I don't know, like a fusion, Korean barbecue. I said, Roy, that is the dumbest idea I've ever heard of in my entire life. Roy went to start Kogi Taco Truck, yeah. with, which revolutionized the food industry as we know it. One of Anthony Bourdain's favorite chefs in the world has a show on Netflix with John Favreau now. Yeah. And thank God you didn't listen to me. <laughs> no. I remember going, Roy, you got a family. You got to keep that job. You can't just get a taco truck. And then you like, were the responsible one. Yeah. And then like two weeks later, Vince Vaughn and Steve Byrne are like, hey, you know Roy Choi, right? And I go, oh, yeah. yeah. And he can goes, you they, get me into it? Yeah, they're like, can you help us get in touch with him? I'm like, what? what? How? What do you mean? And they're like, the line's like three miles long for his taco truck. That, what was it like the beginning of Kogi? It was pandemonium, but like a like a like a beautiful pandemonium. It was like Woodstock. It was like just everyone going out into the middle of the street at night and just like literally like two thousand people in the street. Yeah all waiting in the parking lot till we showed up or creating a line on their own and just becoming friends for like four hours. That's insane. Yeah. How was it so popular so fast? Did you have a- uh, uh... It was a perfect storm. It was the crash of the economy, 2008, like the whole real estate crisis. Uh, social media just happened. I, at that time there were like no podcasts. YouTube was just coming up. Like we didn't have anything like this independent source that we have right now. Like you could just start a podcast and you know, you mm -hmm. become whatever you become. But back then it was all new. And then, so we had Twitter and then the iPhone just came out. So it was like this perfect storm and our food was two bucks and it felt like it tasted like 20 bucks. Wow. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. His daughter had a birthday party that he just has the truck come to make up and the truck just came for the little birthday party and there was a line down the street and he was like, oh no, we're not selling and people wouldn't leave. They're like, just yeah. in case you start. They, have you ever had Kogi Taco truck? I've never had Oh my God, it's out of this to bring world. It. I mean, no lie, Sebastian. Sebastian's a legit foodie. I could tell. Yeah. Like legit. That your his father-in-law. When your father-in-law is visiting, it's one of my favorite times because you make those big rib roasts. Yeah, yeah. We, we like we like meat, and I yeah. haven't had your 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 food not because I I, I know of it. It's yeah. just uh, I have not got there, so I, I don't want. No, but I could tell you love food because I when I saw like you, I'm, I'm ditching this guy. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Even your jokes are about food. Yeah. Yeah. A lot, so a lot of food. That's, is, yeah. Is, so wait. So then I want to know. I want to know from both of you. What was the like? Because I got to witness Sebastian take off to a level where it was like, where people were like, what, four Madison Square Gardens? Yeah. Tell me, do, try to find if you can that moment where you sat down on your couch, you're like, wow, I think things are about to change for my life. Do you remember that? Um, no, I, I, I don't even think in those. Um, for real? Even, yeah. So it just happened gradually? It like, was a gradual yeah. build. It's something that wasn't overnight. Yeah. It was, uh, you know, pounding the pavement, going to the clubs, as you well know, uh, year in, year out, shaking hands, meeting yeah. people. And, yeah, I didn't put up a so truck. When did, then when did you and, stop doing meet and greets? That's uh, a, like, when did you stop shaking hands with but, everybody? About a year and a half ago, I stopped doing for that. For real? Yeah. I, 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 do it, I used to do it at the theaters, but then it just got a little... I felt like I was doing a wedding every night, so I said, <laughs> "Let's put a kibosh to that." And uh, yeah, it's been it's been great. The last three or four years have been really okay. Really I'll good. tell you when it changed for you. Yeah, All right. Okay. You know, I remember it. I remember yeah. it distinctly. Is I went to the Dallas, the Addison Improv, and they had a Sebastian Maniscalco drink. Oh, they did. Yeah, and I oh, went. Wow. I went. How do you guys know Sebastian? Because I knew yeah. Sebastian, and they're like, "Oh my God, he sells out every show here." And I was like, yeah. "Oh, the, <laughs> those moments where you see someone." change when when do you think it was for you when you were like well we it were... was on your couch <laughs> 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 when i started the cooking truck i mean literally we were both like struggling you know just yeah. trying to make ends meet at that time just on a salary or whatever and you were doing shows i remember but i remember you said you were like hey could you do comedy shows in my line to entertain people. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's I, how big I thought you were. <laughs> you line I'm like, will you take 50 bucks and just <laughs> my life? I remember going, can you just get me to the front of the line yeah, to, get, yeah. <laughs> to get Kogi? But there was that moment for us. I mean, I was literally flat broke on the couch talking to you, and then Kogi happened. Um, for you, I mean, you were already big at that time, but no. there was a moment, I think a few years after, I don't know if it was your shows or the, the the shows on TV or I had a bunch, I've had a bunch of false starts I yeah. think like where I was like oh this is gonna change my life and then nothing happened and then like this is gonna change my life and then nothing happened maybe the podcast or I'll tell you what I, I gotta be honest with you I think it was I know when things changed for me it was when that machine story went viral when the oh. machine story went viral I remember going to the going to um, the stress factory in in Jersey yeah. and there was a blizzard and it was sold out and I said why are you guys here. And they said, "We're here for you." And I went, "No, no, but like, like, well, is this like a, is this like a, like a bachelor party or something? Like, why is there so many people here?" Yeah. And they're like, "We're here for you." And I was like, "No, I, I know that, but I know that's what we're doing." But and they were like, "No, we want to hear the machine story." I was like, "Where'd you hear that?" And they're like, "YouTube, bro, or Facebook." That was like, that was for me. Yeah. The bit that turned. Everything. I remember, I remember your Showtime special with the, with the light, the light sweater. Was that your first one? The pink? Uh, yeah, it's it's more of a um, uh, more of a burgundy. <laughs> a I would say burgundy. pink is like a burgundy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let's get the colors right. Now. Yeah, yeah, it's more, yeah. yeah, it's more of a <laughs> yeah, 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 similar yeah. to that. That yeah. was such a great special. Well, thank you. Very I seldomly do you sit as a comic and watch a special by yourself and not, and not turn it off immediately. Yeah. Everyone's special. I mean, not not now, but spe but like then, a Showtime special. I remember turning it on in my man cave, going, "Oh, I wonder what, how, what he's working on." Mm -hmm. and just being fucking floored. Just, Can I tell you something crazy about Roy? So Roy takes food, I would argue, more serious than we take comedy. Meaning, how long were you vegan to reset your palate? Uh, I'm still doing it. So it's been since 2012, so that's seven years. Yeah. So I'm not all the way, but yeah, um, yeah in 2012 I woke up and I'm just like, shit is not moving the way I want it to move. You know, and things are hitting walls, and I was like, maybe if I change my diet, things will be different. And I just woke up and did it, you know, and that's been seven years. Because meat was overwhelming the market, and you're like, everything's meat. I want to see if I can find flavors. Yeah, I want to find flavor. I'm a big, I do a lot of social justice work on a serious level, so I really think about communities that don't have food, that don't have access to food. And, um, and I felt like we were always hitting brick walls, and like, we're always trying to come up with solutions on how to feed everyone, but we somehow end up in the same pocket every single time. And so I thought maybe if I switch up my whole life, I can come up with new ideas. And it's been seven years now. Do you, do you identify, wait, so I'm sorry. No, so yeah. I, I'm not familiar with yeah. um, veganism. Is that a uh, no meat in the, in the yeah, diet? Yeah, no meat, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know these things. Listen, I, don't, I, just, I just eat and there's, there's no rhyme or reason. Well, I'm eating a hamburger today, but it's not, it, 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 there's a little wiggle room here. I'm going gonna, gonna to follow up to that question. So you're Italian, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tomatoes? I'm not really familiar with these <laughs> vegans. <laughs> Well, what's the restrictions? What, what can't you? <laughs> yeah, me, I mean, yeah. Huh? Right here. This is the number one restriction. All right, no meat. <laughs> yeah. So you're you can't have anything from an animal. Is, Veganism yeah. is more about is more about um, is more about politics than it is diet. Meaning, like you're, it's it's. I, most vegans do it for the love of the animal. I was vegan for yeah. like a couple days. <laughs> I actually, I take that back. I was vegan for like 15 minutes. I didn't know there was egg and pasta. Yes. And so I'm eating pasta and I tell this guy on an airplane, I go, I'm vegan. And he goes, oh, you liking that pasta? And I said, yeah. And he goes, it's got egg in it, asshole. And I was like, huh? <laughs> He's like, you've never been vegan. I was like, I was only a bit vegan. Yeah, for like to be fair, minutes. I'm not vegan. I, I, I try to eat plant-based during the week and then um, and I ham out on the weekends. But like yeah. to be vegan, it goes, if you're really going to claim vegan, like, like, like you put it on your chest, like a tattoo, you got to go all the way. You can't have leather belts. You can't yeah. have leather in your, oh, wow. in your cars. Yeah. yeah. You can't yeah. wear leather shoes, yeah. nothing like that. Yeah. Do you identify, do you identify, because you are a byproduct of Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm from here. Do you identify more Korean or Los Angeles? More Los Angeles. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. What's but, I, I mean, I was raised Korean, but... I don't think or speak Korean, you know. I, um, I don't know how that is for like Italian American or whatever, you know. Oh, yeah, I don't Italian. know what the hell you are. <laughs> I'm just a mutt. You, but you're, but, you, yeah, but you're, it's more LA. Yeah, because um, yeah. you are. Do you identify more Chicago or Italian? I, I, I'm, I'm Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> different. It's no, different in that way. It's no Chicago. It's just Italian. It's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> All right. Oh. I brought. Well, tell me what you brought, because I only brought two things. He's not telling you. Well, I just, I just got some ground, ground beef. Yeah. And then. Uh, you see what I that got oh, some... he's, 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 he's taking you out. He's got the wagyu. I got wagyu. Okay. Uh, that's. I'm not worried. Five. Whatever. Oh, that's yours. Oh, nice. this is me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. It's been sitting in the heat for six. Know, it's already, it's already cooked. No, no, it's no. It's already cooked. <laughs> <laughs> it's already cooked. If I mush it up, you won't see the brown part. Well, what's this? Is this the same? No, this is the same, same, same. I'm gonna I'm gonna mash up some of my wagyu with some regular beef, you know, kind of okay. like integrate it. And then I was in Madison this weekend, two shows, big mm -hmm. deer, not a big deal. But like, uh, and I got five year aged cheddar. Oh, okay. Ho oh, oh, ho, extra sharp. So these are my two key ingredients. So it looks like Sebastian went to the butcher shop. Oh, you so went to the is, butcher. Yeah. Uh, just got that today, about an hour and a half prior mm -hmm. to coming. Oh, yours in. looks really red. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do we have a close up? Of Look this? at the two is, different is, colors. Is, is there? I might have to. It might be <laughs> wagyu, but it, it, it looks the presentation. It was looked, frozen. I thought it was something that you weren't going to use the way it was sitting yeah, over here. Yeah, it was over here. With, no. a, with an it, ice bag. If it doesn't come back to life, then I'll. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, what, what, this all started because Sebastian was doing a burger challenge with his friends and uh -huh. I was making burgers for my friends. And I was like, oh shit. And I said, I just, you know, I'm drunk. Anytime Sebastian does something, yeah. I'm, I am the guy in Sebastian's act that drives him nuts. <laughs> and he goes, who are these people that drink wine like this? And I'm literally <laughs> watching his video going, what, is, oh, like I am that guy. So he was doing the burger challenge and I said something and Sebastian's like, it's on. But what, what was that, what were you doing? My sister and I decided, oh, I invited my sister over. She's like, we'll do the burgers. I go, no, no, I'll do the burgers. She's like, last time when we were over, your burgers sucked. So I want to do the burgers. I said, well, uh, you know, let's do a challenge. So that's how that all started. We did yeah. a challenge. Your sister, older, younger? She's younger. She's five years younger. And then uh, you chimed in on uh, something. I'm like, this guy wants to go with his burger. Let's do it. Oh, so look at this white girl. Um, it's, it's red in the inside. You guys need any gloves or anything? You just gonna go straight like that? Okay. Well, I mean, listen. I mean, I've never really had a professional chef next yeah. to me. What is the? Uh, what is? I, I like to do stuff that's. Um, like I like rules. Yeah, so if you're touching, yeah, if you're touching like, meat, do you recommend yeah, a glove? I recommend a glove. We got uh, gloves here. Is that in the budget? Cross contamination. Cross contamination. All right. So no gloves. We'll go. If, if not, I put liquid band-aids all over my hands. Yeah. <laughs> or like a big spoon. For to what? Mix, to mix or like a. Are you putting an egg in yours, huh? Well, I yeah. see the, the egg I like because it binds it. And then uh, I heard on Instagram that people were saying it, 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 uh, it's similar to meatloaf. If it you is put similar it in. to yeah. meatloaf then. But that's okay if you do it right, because then it will be moist. Okay. See, yeah. what, what I find is I do a little, I'm doing a little panko in mine, 
Mm-hmm. All right, what, what is that? What is it just, what, if, what I find is it holds, in, holds the fat inside the burger for you. Oh, gotcha. So, yeah. Hey, will you stop passing me my panko? I think it's over there. I, why am I using the smallest bowl in the world? Look at the, already I'm on, at a disadvantage. <laughs> Do we have a bigger bowl, Rach? We can use this one. So when you when you cook, are you yeah. would you say organized or is yes, it just yes? Yes, I think you would really appreciate working in a professional oh, kitchen because it sounds like you really love structure and you like to go all the way with everything. Yes. We don't start cooking until we have all of our stuff, what we call mise en place, in the right place. Uh, you know. Hey, wait, isn't, so, that a, isn't that the name of a re- restaurant or something, mise en place? I don't think so, but uh, it's really important to have it all so that. Uh, we don't have to look for it or, or ask for gloves or ask for a bigger bowl. Yeah. You know, all that stuff has to be taken care of beforehand. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I, I tend to try to do that, but it gets See, a this, little... This would never happen. Like, where do I put this? Yeah. You know, hey, that, that would Mike. be the worst. <laughs> on the stone, not on the grass, it starts a fire. Good call. All right, I'm already cooking at a disadvantage because I'm cooking on grass grill. What's your what's your what theme are you going for here, Sebastian? What's your theme? For a burger? Yeah, what do you got? Uh, simple. Simple? Yeah, I don't like to do a lot of things on the burger. Uh, I notice you have bacon, I see some mushrooms no over mushrooms. there, yeah. some okay. avocado. Um, Sun dried tomatoes. Yeah, I, I tend to be a little bit more simpler in my approach. Uh, nice American burger. Try to let the meat shine. Yeah. Um, I don't really like to disguise it. Not that I don't have a problem with uh, condiments, but uh, I like to go simple. I am, my goal is more is more. Okay. I'm going four burgers, two ounce, four two ounce burgers stacked. Burger, cheese, onions, burger, cheese, onions, burger, cheese, onions, egg, bacon. Oh, okay. See, that's uh-huh. that's, uh, that's way <laughs> too complicated to, right to, now. to even pull off. <laughs> I, I, want, I want the wow factor. Okay. So do, what do you prefer on your burger? I mean, you don't, I, we're, not, we're not asking him how he likes his burger. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you went, if you went like out, what do you... No, no, I'm going to go, hey, what do you like? <laughs> oh, I'll just make that for you. Yeah. <laughs> not four patties, for sure. Okay, I'll go three. <laughs> By the way, mise en place, is that what you call it? Yes. I'm, I'm just putting it all over to the left going, someone will clean this later. Um, how good are you at cutting onions? Can you just slam through onions? Yeah, it, de- yeah, it depends on which cut it is, but yeah. What's the best thing you've you ever go. eaten, Roy? Uh, the best thing I've ever eaten is probably, um, in Korea, there was this, uh, there was this. There's a lot of white people in Korea, right? Teaching, like, teaching English, yeah. I saw so many white people in Korea. Yeah. I was like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, they're out there. It's crazy. They're out there teaching English, getting married. Um, yeah, in Korea, I ate this pork, this Berkshire pork from an island uh, on the southern tip. That was probably the most delicious thing I ate. And also soba noodles. And Oh, my God. Um, I had some pretty good burgers in my life in New York. And... Oh, what? Chicago. You're from Chicago? Yeah. I had that Italian beef sandwich. Oh, so good. I think that's one of the most delicious things I've ever had. Yeah. That Ita- Chicago like, food? That thing, it's like a, a marriage between like a Philly cheesesteak, a French dip, and something else. But it's it like is so good with an that. Italian sausage and peppers. You know, it's like the most What's delicious What's it called? Thing. G- 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 R- G- R- Giordano's? Johnny's, Johnny's? Johnny's beef. Johnny's yeah, beef and Mr. Beef. Mr. Beef. Owls. Yeah. Portillo's. 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 Yeah. Portillo's. You can't beat Portillo's. It is phenomenal. I'm like a real big thing of like food in its environment. You know what I mean? And so like Chicago when it was cold and one of those sandwiches walking around, it was like oh, right? all the elements together. My, my burger, the name of my burger is the Cross Contamination Burger. Yes. I think that's already what I'm going for. CC. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I didn't know anything about Korean food until I, I met you. you. Until I took you to that restaurant. <sighs> Sebastian. He what? takes me to this restaurant in Koreatown. Not only am I the only <coughs> white person, no one speaks English. Yeah. Like the lady just comes up and just starts ordering Korean and they just talk Korean to her. And then I'm just going, you, you know I wanted extra, right? <laughs> How do you say supersize it in Korean? I was so nervous. Oh, I was terrified. You were terrified. I was terrified. I've never been, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it was a fish out of water type environment a little bit. Yeah. And then, but more importantly, it was, the food was phenomenal. All the yeah. cooking's done on the table. Yeah. 
Do you speak any Italian, Sebastian? You know what I'm noticing as we're doing this? What? Mm -hmm. um, it's really d difficult for me to talk and concentrate on the food. <laughs> Yeah, have I, a cooking show. I know. Yeah, I, it, it, I'm sitting here going, man, I really like to participate in this conversation, mm -hmm. but I can't peel the onion correctly. So, um, and I'm judging between you. Guys. Is that what's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Roy, have Am you I ever heard of just... anyone putting onions on top of the bacon as the bacon cooked? No, but it's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. So you might be innovating something here. It's actually not that bad. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Sure. What restaurants do you have now? I have A Frame, best, you still have a -frame? best a -frame? friend in Las Vegas, which you were just at. I was just at. Oh yeah. my God! Yeah, I, I'm at a, I'm at a place in Las Vegas, and some guy comes up to me, goes, has a cocktail. He goes, this is from Roy Choi. I go, how yeah. do you know Roy Choi? He goes, yeah. he's my boss. Yeah. I go, what? <laughs> he goes, this is him. And I was like, oh, shut the fuck up. I think you were doing a show at the Mirage or something. Yeah, and, sold uh, out. Yeah. Yeah, and you came out. You don't got to brag. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Are you one of those guys? Yeah, you never said oh, sold out. Yeah. Yeah. He asked me if I wanted 20 tickets, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, that was, a, that was a light one. That's my favorite part of comedy, is doing that to other comics. <laughs> it's sold out. Yeah, did you see what Joe Coy posted last night? He goes, Bert, I love your tour bus, and then cuts, he's in a private jet. Yeah. And you're like, oh, ha, oh, oh. um, So, do you, at, at a restaurant, do you know mm -hmm. now with technology, who's there, what they order, is it that involved? Like, mm, oh. No, that would only be the case if you had cameras and you were kind of lurking, but you're still human to human. So you have your people, mm -hmm. uh, just like your tour manager or whatever the case may be, like people that are really close to you and they're on alert. If they see anyone they recognize or if you oh, make a real? note, like if, um, yeah. I mean, if you two were to walk in, they, it, something may happen and they would, text me and say, hey, listen, you know, these guys are here. You want me to do anything, chef? Yeah. Stuff like that. So our whole our whole job is to make sure everyone feels VIP, especially the VIPs. I love feeling like VIP. Yeah, it's Smash great, it. right? I feel like you don't you don't uh, care about that shit. I, don't, uh, I You know what? I come from the hospitality world. <laughs> you might be doing this. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, you know, well, just for a, for a perfect round burger. OK. You don't do that? No, no, I go uh, smashy. Mm -hmm. You could smash all you want. I'm just saying I, I like to put it in a, um, these are normally, if you, uh, I use them to, to, to mold the burger. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, well, thanks. I appreciate yeah. it. Are you giving points as we go? Yeah, that's yeah. what I was asking. Am I judging? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Am Judge I judging the whole process? Yeah, this bacon might not taste. And ultimately, <laughs> way ultimately the, ta the taste. I'll move that closer to the heat. So... Um, love how serious Sebastian's taking the seasoning, the layers. Yeah, you know what? I, I, my wife told me last night when I did the test run, uh, not enough seasoning, not enough there salt and pepper. Really? Yeah. So that that today coming into this, I was a little bit worried about how it was going to be seasoned. So you know what I got obsessed with? The now I know this doesn't look as good as it should, but uh, weighing out your burger patties. Yeah. It's so much fun. <laughs> like going. I, Oh, you got, oh wow, is that is that normal? Uh, the the box on the scale is not normal. Yeah, is but that, wait, what is that? Yeah. Why are you putting the box there? He doesn't want to contaminate the scale. Oh, contaminate. Out of all the yeah. things he doesn't but, want to contaminate. But the, bo but the yeah. box looks like hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three ounces, Rach, did you say? <laughs> two ounces? That seems really small. They're gonna be really thin? <laughs> no, let's do two. God fucking Jesus. <laughs> okay, there's two ounces, Rach. Kind of small. I, that's what I said. Yeah. A two ounce. Even, even though even the in and out patties patties are four ounces. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. How do you know that? Because it's a quarter pound. Oh. Yeah. 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 My burger is yesterday. You know what? Right, right, you judge at the end. You know okay. what? I'm making it <laughs> right, too. <yeah>, right. <laughs> I did a, uh, a 0.75 pound burger yesterday. A little too heavy. 0. 0.75. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to go a little. Uh, I don't know. Italians tend to do everything a little bit too big. So I'm trying to reduce my size today. Hopefully, um... I always do that when I go to the counter and they're like, oh, what size burger? Oh, pound. And then I'm yeah. like sick to my stomach at the end going, ooh, I don't feel so hot. Yeah, the pound, the pound burger is not the, it's not the move. No, I have a problem with, uh, with overdoing it in life. I know you guys are probably shocked to hear that. You're like, no, get out. Okay. We'll just have a couple extras just in case. A little standby, guys. Um... Do you have a favorite burger, you guys, in L.A.? <sighs> okay. This is a, this, no, 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 no. Uh, 
I, I'll tell you right now, I know this doesn't sound right, but I love, uh, I love Carl's Jr.'s $5 burger. Huh. I never had Such it. a great burger. I mean, I love the counter. We go to the counter if we're gonna have burgers for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like Tommy's. Okay. Tommy's kind of just, it just- The burger's not great. No, it's you not, right? You gotta like the chili, the, just the chili boat there, chili yeah. tamale. Do we wash our hands in the in the hot tub? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the temperature is above danger zone, so yes. These guys are waiting on standby. We're gonna put them in the shade. Right here. Yeah, right <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me... Um, Look at this. I like your suggestion of the, um, what is it, mise, mise en place? Mise en place, everything yes. in its place before you start cooking. Gotcha. So that would mean get all your lettuces, yep. tomatoes, Love everything. that, love that. This isn't the hottest grill. Oh, there we go. Something's cooking. Something's burning. Something's burning. <laughs> so your flavor, your salt ratio is going to come from the bacon. Is that what you're hoping for? Yes, it is. Okay, all right. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> so is there, uh, in, in the uh, culinary community, is there like um, beefs? Like, uh, oh, this guy, this guy. Yeah, you look at yeah. Eddie Wong yeah. and you're like, fucking phony. <laughs> it's more passive aggressive. Like, chefs are, because we're hospitality people, right? So it's like, we're always nice to each other. But when we're shaking hands, we're this fucking guy just, in, in the back of our head. <laughs> yeah, always. But it, we never say it, which just sucks. We should say it. There's not like, a, like, literal, like, because I, sometimes I watch the, like, Top Chef. Yeah. Celebrities will come on, celebrity chefs and whatnot. Yeah. And I'm wondering, does everybody get this? Like Tom Colicchio get along with uh, what's that French guy that comes out of New York? The guy that oh uh, Eric Repair? Yeah, yeah. Like are yeah, they, they buddies? All get along. Or, yeah, they all or, buddies. Or do they look yeah. at each other's food and go, "It stinks." No, no. no? They don't. On that level, they don't. But what about, uh, what about Guy Fieri? Do you do you look at Guy Fieri? A lot of people, a lot of people hate on him. I like, like him, but I like you know I like the guy. I got nothing. I got no beef with him. But um, but a lot of people hate. A lot of people, a lot, a lot of real chefs, hate on him. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. He's just doing what he's doing. That's what I'm saying. I'll tell you what. That that um. The funny thing about chefs is they can sometimes become a little pompous. You know. Yeah. They come. They they come from like. Uh, blue collar backgrounds, but all of a sudden they start cooking all these expensive ingredients and all of a sudden mm -hmm. they're, they're too good for everything anymore. Have so. you ever caught yourself doing that? Where you're like, all right, come on, Roy. Nah, uh, no, nah, I've always been grounded. You know, I've, uh, that's always been something that I, I believe in, you know? What's, uh, and that's why Kogi was perfect for me to cook for the streets when it finally happened. Yeah, what was, uh, how terrifying were the LA riots? I always hear you talk about that and I just, I, I, it scares me to hear your reflection on it. I mean, I don't know. I was young, so I wasn't. I wasn't scared. I was like in my early twenties. Yeah. Like early, early twenties. So I wasn't scared more as much as it was like, it was exhilarating. Really? Yeah, man. It was like, it was a like we because at that time I wasn't doing shit in life, and yeah. it like gave me a purpose to protect Koreatown, like to wake up and like roam the streets. We got like all dressed up in like bandanas and like we brought like bats and you know, like Shit. golf clubs and all these things and just riding around in these uh, Honda Accords trying to act like we were important. And uh, so again, it was more exhilarating than it was scary. But shit was going on. I mean, like there were gunfights in, in the middle of the street, people walking around with couches and laundry detergent, looting stores. Like it, it happened for three days. So imagine this whole city being locked down for three days. That's crazy. Yeah. That's insane to me. Yeah, I feel like, you know, um, our current friends are Vietnamese. I, f I feel like ultimately we're, yeah, we're, we're very Two different, different worlds, worlds. Yes. Well, See, uh, uh, I, is this going to go yeah. on the burger? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going on the burger. It's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a contamination burger. <laughs> but just, just to get in your head. Yes. Uh, Good luck. This is, this, this, <laughs> why, why wouldn't you unwrap and then take a nice Yeah, slice, I don't understand no? why he cut it to well, What's four, the squares? Is I don't this, know. It wasn't, this is something you put on like a charcuterie board. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I just this is the way I thought about doing it. <laughs> I don't know. You ever you ever see someone do something sideways and go, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" No, yeah, like, we just thought that right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got. We got to do a three-way date. We're all. Hey, did your wife dye her hair blonde? Uh, 
she colors it. Yeah. It looks yeah. awesome. Oh, thanks. The, so the latest one. one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're really into this. I saw her breast yeah, pumping yeah. with blonde hair, and yeah. I was like, God. Oh. And by the way, I was looking at her hair. I was like, her hair looks phenomenal. <laughs> She'll be happy to hear that. <laughs> His best is with um, his wife. Instagram stories him uh, and he doesn't know he's, she's doing it. Uh, there was a pr time where she'd go, all right, now go ahead and say the name of your tour, tell the taste. And he'd go, uh, hey everyone, and then she'd turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're on like Instagram. I mean, does your yeah. family go, all right, dad, you want to put the thing down and let's live? Do you know or what they like, do? You know what they do, Sebastian? <laughs> Cause I'm to, saying that. I'll go, to, I'll go to start a story and they'll go, dad beats up mom. And I'll go, shut up, don't say that. Dad's got a girlfriend, he's cheating on mom. I go, stop, stop, stop doing that. And then I just started putting them on because they were working. <laughs> are, Georgia, no. are Georgia and Isla on, on oh, your stories yeah, and yeah. stuff? Yeah. Isla changed her name on Instagram to Toasty Shower. Cause she didn't like people knowing who she was. She was very private. And I was, I was, yeah, so now I just told everyone, follow Toasty Shower on Instagram. Are you, do you, do you do as much as he does on, on Instagram? I do, our whole business was based on, on social media, oh, wow. so. But you're, see, your, 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 your clientele, your fan base is all people that would go, oh, I'm not Instagram. I don't I, like, I, I got followed a little bit, but like, they're, they're aligned with where your brain is. My fan base is like, I, I follow it, but I don't want to tell anyone I follow it. You know, oh, I gosh. think a young crowd follows him as well, right? They would. Oh yeah, yeah oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But they, no, they but it's it's, the, it's people who have his fan base of people that uh, that like to look nice. Yeah. You know, mine's all look like me. <laughs> they all got beards. They're all overweight. Their wives are hotter than they are. <laughs> Sebastian's fan base. I bet your stadiums, your arenas smell fantastic. They do. They really <laughs> they do. do. I mean, the amount of cologne that enters the building is really <laughs> tremendous. Sometimes it's a distraction for he me did, while I'm he performing. Did four shows at the Garden. What did you do? Four shows. Four shows. Yeah. Four shows at Madison. In the round. In the round. Yeah. So, uh. tell, explain in the round because I just did it for the first mm -hmm. time and it caught me off guard. You've obviously done it a lot. Explain working in the round. Is that the boxing? Yeah, arena? so it, yeah, yeah, it would be like arena, if right? this yeah. the, the stage is essentially a boxing ring. Yeah. So for me, I'm very physical. I like yeah. to kind of prowl the stage anyway. It kind of works for me just because I'm always moving. Yeah. I'm not just uh, sitting there stationary. So uh, that's how I like to do the arena shows. Yeah. Um, but in a the normal theater, it's the, the same, you know, the proscenium type uh, setup. Um, I started telling the story, and you walked away, and I kind of felt like you were disinterested. I know. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really concerned about my heat. I feel like I don't have enough heat on this grill, and we're gonna roast these burgers. Okay, here I need a, I need a. If you don't How many mind. burgers are you making? I'm making four. How many you got? I was making one. Oh, okay. He's making I just one. Had, I just no, had no, no, make four. It. I want one of yours. Okay, yeah. I just was, I just was making what I had yeah. in the meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here's, here's something. Uh, I like to toast the bun. Yes. Do you use... Me too, then. <laughs> <laughs> do, you reach, use, reach. do you use um, oil or butter? Oil, or you can mix oil with butter, but don't just do butter. Because butter burns? Because butter burns, yeah. Okay. Well, I, learned a lot about, I learned a lot about cooking with, uh, with, with, from Roy. Okay. Well, I'm trying to, if, yeah, you, don't, yeah. if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have this grapeseed oil. Yes. Is it? Is, is that's perfect. It's, perfect. it's at the highest smoking point. So. Okay. I'm gonna throw another one at you. Uh -huh. I don't really have a container. A brush. That, that will well, allow. So just dump Pour it some in, in there. there. No, 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 no. Put it in your mouth and. <laughs> <laughs> and let me look for like a little brush for you. There oh, you there go. you go. There you go. I, I definitely smack it a couple times to get the dust off. Oh, of perfect, it. perfect. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, this is what I'm looking for. That's what we need. Nice. And then just all the way corner to corner. Beautiful. Is it weird watching people cook that don't normally cook a lot? You like? No, but yes, this side, this, this side this feels normal. This is gonna surprise you, Roy. Yeah, this side feels normal. This side feels like something I can I can get with. This this I'm still getting used to. Over here. Well, Are you no, cool I mean, with one piece of bacon? That's a nice color, though. It's a nice color, right? I know you do cook a lot, though. I for, do, but for someone that it's what Sebastian said at the beginning. It's really hard when you are cooking and trying to host the shows. I don't really give yeah. a fuck about the cooking part of this show at all. I never, I, you know, like I, 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 I enjoy what happens when people get around food yeah. and get around cocktail and kind of hang out. There's something that happens where you I'll get disarmed you. and you become very casual. You want a Bloody Mary? No, it's no, it's the daytime. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm having a virgin one. I'm... <laughs> it's a Monday. It's a Monday. Oh. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> Sebastian, Sebastian's someone who, he is the guy who goes, I'll have a drink. Yeah. No, hey, listen, I like to I like to have wine. Don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah. I like, but yeah. it's, it, it, it's uh, I'm more of a nighttime wine guy, maybe out on the patio. Nothing wrong with having a Bloody Mary. Do you drink the whole bottle or do you leave bottles? Do you let people speak? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen very well, Sebastian. <laughs> Um, I, me and my wife like to share a bottle of wine. Share uh, it, as in she has a glass, you take the rest and then no, open no, another bottle? No, no, two glasses a piece. And what I said about with the wine, you tend to fill the wine up like you're drinking a beer almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like to <laughs> give it I'm not there a... for the taste, I'm there for the buzz. <laughs> I don't hit weed and blow it out, but ooh, that makes my mouth feel oh, tingly. You. That's the Florida. Uh, that's the Florida. That's the Florida. That's the Florida. <laughs> Oh, so he takes the whole big wine glass and fills well, it all know, the way. Like, you know, like, you're supposed uh -huh. to, the, the wine glass, you're you supposed need to some room need to, room yeah. and the, for the, your nose to go in so you could smell it a little bit. The last time I saw him pour wine, it looked like he was, you know, pouring a Sprite. <laughs> like I was entering Sparta. <laughs> hey, uh, Kim Jong-un asked you to come over and cook a meal for him. Do you do it? <laughs> Not me. What? You're the wrong chef. Not you? Not me. Sebastian. No. Kim Jong-un. No. Why are you gonna do that? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get him on the show next. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the next Rodman who flips him. I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna fix. I have big grand ideas about fixing things. You would be good though in North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Please get that sound bite. That's all I want <laughs> out of this. Show. You'd be good in North Korea. North Korea seems like the place for you. Yeah, sold out. Um, no, I. Uh, what about Trump? If Trump asked you to do a show, Sebastian, would you go? I mean, I don't know how you cannot turn down. Performing for any president, I don't like to uh, really. I like to make everybody laugh, right, center, left. Doesn't yeah. really matter what, where you know, what religion you are, what political affiliation. So it's kind of crazy because it. it, it that, I mean, th I think we're in that business where it's. We're definitely in the business of trying to make as many people happy. It's tough as as you guys as comics and me as a chef. It's tough. You know, we could be serving or making. I could be serving food. You could be making assholes laugh every night. But you don't know because our job is to entertain. Oh, wow. You know, that's really interesting. Yeah, I mean, like, we can find out. Said, there's a, there's a things we, things we can do where we find out. I said I wasn't going to drink today, and now I'm fucking already going. So what bar you... am I going after this? After this, <laughs> um, it is kind of weird because have you ever told a joke, Sebastian, and you go, I feel like they're laughing for the wrong reason. Um, no, everything. Uh, oh, is... I have. Yeah. Oh wow. yeah. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Give, me, give me an example. When uh, when I hear that, I just figure they're laughing. Well, that because was the biggest of... thing that Chappelle said too, right? When yeah. in the room during Chappelle's show, like they started laughing a little too hard. Yeah. And I, I had a joke. Shit. I used to have a joke about mm -hmm. this black guy said something racist to me one time. He like shared it with me. And I, the joke was, how far have we come as a people when a black man and a white man can commit a hate crime together? Right. That was a joke. And then, and then I said well, it was kind of it was it's a true story. But I said how crazy that he just assumed I was racist. And then if I am racist, I hate everybody. Like why? Like how did like, like? And then people would come up to me and go, "Yeah, my racism doesn't stop at Middle Easterns." And I was like, "Oh, I'm never telling this joke again. Oh, I feel gross." They were, they were almost like coming up. Yeah, to it you was like almost Bert. like it was yeah. almost like. But it is interesting I, yeah. now that you say that you do, you serve, you've probably made meals for people that have said horrible shit about Asian people, but they love yeah. your food and they but can't, they you know. Yeah, and I would never know because I'm just there cooking. That's fucking cry. Ah, that would fucking get like when I get high at night and try yeah. to make my dog laugh. That, that kind of <laughs> fucking I would lose my mind about shit like that. Do you have any pets, Sebastian? No pets. Uh, never grew up with pets. We had a bird and uh, <laughs> we had a little bird, a little parakeet, and uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. I love your shot. I love <laughs> everything that's coming out of this box. Can I get something going on the internet? <laughs> I want. <laughs> I want the Sebastian, if Sebastian had a parrot, what would that parrot say? <laughs> well, his name was Pasquale. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, and um, and uh, that's as far as I uh, went with any type of animal. However, we're considering getting a dog now that we have kids. Mm -hmm. My wife wants a dog. Ooh, can I buy the dog for you? Sure. What would you get? I'm going to get you a bull mastiff. Is that one of those big ones? Oh, yeah, that's what ones. I got. Those yeah. are the big ones, yeah. Um, I'm at a crossroads here with the cooking. I don't know if I should slap on my meat and we take this uh, to the next level. Yeah, or, I think it's time. I yeah. think we're time. It's I think time to cook. Yeah. Time. Um, I love everything coming out of this box. This is, everything's coming out I'm pretty glad, good. I'm, I'm going to take you're this, enjoying and put this the, here, uh, the and I think I'm going to put here. my meat on Sebastian. Now you know, Sebastian, 
there's a little thing I like to call a secret weapon. And my secret weapon today is mustard. Okay. We play a game in our house called Mustard Hands. That's where you put mustard under the table and everyone either squirts it in their hands at a restaurant or doesn't. And my wife just gets livid. Wait, you squirt mustard on your hands or don't? And then or don't. And then just, we put our, keep our hands under the table. So like you'll go like this, you pass the mustard around on the table. You either squirt it in your hands or you don't. And then we try to guess who squirted mustard in their hands. Okay. And it makes Leanne crazy because mustard stains so bad. Yeah. But it makes us laugh because Leanne goes crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then if Leanne ever puts mustard in her hands, we lose our shit. <laughs> and so it's a fun game playing mustard hands. Just take the mustard, put it on the table, and pass it around. We played it with Doug Stanhope at my house one uh -huh. time. And at the very end, Isla, Isla started it, right? Stanhope passes Isla the mustard and she goes, hey, can I change mine? And Doug goes, Clearly, you didn't put yeah. mustard in your hands yeah. the first time. She goes, that's not true. And he goes, well, you can't put it back in the bottle, so you're just putting it in your hands. She goes, you don't know that. <laughs> he goes, no, I definitely know that. I definitely know that. And then she sprayed it in her hands, and we laughed. Oh, yeah. mustard hands is a fun game. Well, so what then is, what's the reward after the mustard's in your hand? There's not really. No, there's we haven't really thought that through. <laughs> okay. Who, who's, uh, who, does that, like, uh, come from your, who, who, who suggests that? Me. Are you, you think Leanne came up with that? I don't, I don't know. Maybe the kids came home with it. So your game seemed to go really, really well with the family? Uh, yeah. Because if I heard that at the table, I go, we ain't doing that. Yeah. <laughs> do you find you, do you think you're turning into your dad a little bit? Yeah, Sebastian? absolutely. I'm no fun. Oh, for real? You're fun as shit. <laughs> you're no, but fun, like, but you're like, you're managed fun. <laughs> managed fun. Yeah, you're, you're like uh, no filter, whatever comes out of your mouth. Everything I'm saying today is calculated. Just, <laughs> just like Not really. <laughs> no, but I, I'm more, I more edit as I go. What I'm going to serve you is going to be on its own individual uh, plate. Yeah. And then the rest of the burgers, I'm going to. Okay. Uh, we might as well get all the plates too, for the for, for the showdown. Okay, here's plate. Oh, here they yeah, are. Right here. here they are. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. Okay, oh, you pass so. me one so I can put some onions on there. So let's see how this is gonna I'm work. Calling. A pre-op, not a pre-op. That's. I so badly want to just cook them in bacon, bacon and fat. You should. Okay, that's what we're doing. Yeah, you should just cook them right into that pan. Right into the pan. So you know what you know, Roy. You know why I'm doing this with mustard on it? To get the crust. Uh, no, this is how they do it at In and Out. Ah. Uh, yeah. Where'd you find that out? In and Out. Okay. Super high one night going, all right, dude, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I need to know that I need I need to do, learn how to do this at home. He was like, mustard, bro. <laughs> I said, really? He goes, mustard. <laughs> Not quite as hot as I want it to be, but don't worry, don't worry, Roy. It'll work. I got this. I think you're going to be really impressed. You know what I wish I had is those little um, pieces of <laughs> a paper. Closer? What? Oh, the butcher paper, yeah. <laughs> I love being a comedian. <laughs> do you find do you find your daughter Roy taking the food? Uh, I'm yeah, not saying your daughter's I mean, she name. She has a great palate. I mean, she's been fortunate enough to eat at some of the best restaurants in the world. You know. Wow. Really? So, Honestly. Yeah, yeah. She really has been Accompany, fortunate. Yeah, accompanying me. Um, that's the one thing we do for sh as chefs to each other is like, like we cook for each other and we go, go the whole nine yards. You know what the one thing you did for me? Mm -hmm. Kimchi, man. It has not left my, uh, uh, my, my, my refrigerator. Oh, you still have I, it? Dude, I have, I, I believe so firmly in kimchi, the healing properties of kimchi, yeah. the fact that kimchi is not just uh, a side dish, it's a main dish. You put it, you taught me to put it in scrambled eggs. Yes. You can so put that's it on your burger. With kimchi? You can, you can. No, I, I saw that you were talking about it on your show with Favaro. I, I forget which yeah. episode it was. I think there are a few episodes that we bring kimchi through. Um, yeah, it's it's our lifeblood. It's uh, like tomato sauce for Italians, you know? Mm. Dude, it is, it is a game changer. I love you. I remember you, uh, you were at our house one morning and you were like, you're making scrambled eggs. Well, put kimchi in there. I yeah. went, like, what? Yeah, and you just, real quick, it's amazing when you watch like a chef just, you just went, chuck, 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 There you go. You're going to enjoy it. I went, So, um. Please. Uh, 
<laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Please, please <laughs> give me information. Yeah. So um, I was told, but I'm, uh -huh. I'm reconfirming this. Uh, lid down when you're lid cooking. down. Yeah, it's don't hot. don't move it. Yeah, right? don't move it. Cool. All right, we're good. Um, okay. I'm just I'm just testing something out real quick. So these burgers you're not using. No, 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 okay. no, no. I'm gonna make you guys some room to start plate up. Thank you. Perfect. All right, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. And then there's all kinds of condiments here for you guys. I'm making some backup burgers just to make sure we got what we need. How much do you think you paid for this house in 2003? This house? Yeah, 2003. Berlina, you got a price point on this? What? How much you paid for this house in 2003? 185. No, no, that's that's. Well, come on, what are we? No. No. Eagle Rock. <laughs> 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 yeah. What? 375. It's worth 1.1 right now. Oh, okay. Maybe 1.2, right? I do remember, I've never gone to someone's house and not Zillowed how much they paid for their house. Yeah, you always do that. I, <laughs> I, I, I even do that to like the birthday parties, the, the parents. Oh, yeah. like, Fuck it. You get like, like that house uh, competition guilt. And whatever. then you find out if they lie to you. <laughs> yeah, if they lie to you. <laughs> Sebastian, you're getting a new house, aren't you? I don't know. You probably know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Um, yeah, we're, we're moving. Yeah. Um, fans? Fans? Like, is it two fans find out where you are? No, I have no problem with that. Oh, no. everyone knows where I live. Well, yeah, I mean, uh -huh. you, you're giving a lot of information away. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're you're an open book, bro. I give a lot of information away. I said the name of my street and my special. <laughs> so what do you get? Are you getting people that showing up? Yeah. And what do they do? Like, uh, do I can't believe it's you. So they're coming up to your door? Yeah, come up to my door. And you answer? Well, yeah, I answer my door and people knock on it. <laughs> okay. Let's see what I got going here. This is going to be a work in progress. Um. You know, I'm glad I made extra burgers because I really get to test out. Hey, Sebastian, what did you do with that uh, grape seed oil? <laughs> um, doing good. All right, this is where the clock starts ticking now. We're down. Dude, I did guys' grocery games one time. Oh yeah, they... fucking terrifying. I was pouring sweat. Yeah. I was like dying, going, "This isn't working the way I thought it would." <laughs> Everyone, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're at that point right now. I feel like Guy's crowd and your crowd would be very uh, aligned. Very similar. Yeah. Very similar. Hey, talk to me real quick about Anthony Bourdain. You met him after we knew each other. That's and he right. is he is everyone's patron saying of like everything good. Yeah, he uh and you guys were very close. How did you meet him? How do, just through the industry, just by chance, and then really? um uh and then he asked me to do it one of his shows and that's where we got to know each other. Uh I mean he's exactly like you, you saw on TV. You know, like he's really well read, extremely sharp, you know, yeah. um uh you know, very punk rock about his his outlook on life. He's the best. He was yeah. the best. Yeah. Really you, champion, how, champion how, how so lucky many people. How do you feel to have gotten to become? I mean, you guys were like close. Yeah, we were close. Um, yeah, I miss him every day. I mean, he's uh, he's a great guy. He's a really, really great guy. I feel like everybody's trying to do a version of him. You know? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I, you, like you really uh, kind of set the standard when it comes to like yeah that type of TV where your chef goes out, 
the, 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 the people don't realize is that guy had an unbelievable kind of personality and yeah. knowledge of yeah. things where that, that show works. Yeah, you because, can't just craft yeah. that in, in some pitch deck. It's like it came from him. Yeah. Exactly yeah. how you put it. It's a knowledge. It's something that you build. Yeah, it's the worst now when you hear like in picture rooms like, oh, like Anthony Bourdain-esque, yeah. you know? It's yeah. the worst. It stinks because I never got to meet I worked at Travel Channel for nine years. When oh, he that's was right. There. Yeah. I never got to meet him. I thought, I, th I think he would have, I think he would have gotten a kick out of me, but not at a, like the way Sebastian likes me. Like he yeah. would have been like, holy fuck. I think Sebastian and him would have gotten along really uh, well. Oh, yeah. really good, right? Yeah. Yeah, he seems like my type of guy. Yeah. Sebastian, what's one, what's one famous person you met where you were like, that came to your show, you're like, shut the fuck up. Uh, Lady Gaga. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Start this conversation over. <laughs> I'm sorry. Lady Gaga came to your show? <laughs> Are you fucking oh, fuck. kidding me? I forgot. See, this is, I'm trying to put the butter on, but I put the cheese on. <laughs> you're the putting top. butter underneath <laughs> yeah. the bucket? Just a little butter on top. Would that Lady work Gaga? For you? Beautiful. You can still do it. You oh, yeah? Still do it, yeah. But what, on, yeah, on the just cheese? Put it right on top of the cheese. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, she came to the Greek. <laughs> Look how beautiful these are. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you're going to be shocked at how okay. good mine taste. Yeah. I was hopeful for this, but the... the... Yeah, but don't butt me yet. Hold on. <laughs> you're going to be shocked, Roy. <laughs> okay. How many meals have I made for you that I fucked up? Uh, just a few. Just a few. Okay. Um, Lady Gaga. Oh yeah, let's get yeah, back Lady to Lady Gaga. Let's get back to fucking Lady Gaga. Yeah, she came to the green. The guys from the Free Beer and Hot Wings show. <laughs> and she came backstage with her whole family. Mm. Oh, and, Italian, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, oh, I met her sure. parents. Oh. I met her parents. Oh yeah. Came to the restaurant one time, yeah. Oh cool. Yeah. Yeah, they were really sweet people. Um, yeah, really sweet. And I took a picture with her, and she and I she goes, "Don't post this on mm -hmm. anything." I said, "Uh." Oh. No problem. You do the same. <laughs> oh, let me just see some of this butter. Bro, what, now what? listen, this is... Oh, I thought that was our butter. I didn't know it was our no, butter. No, no, oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have the butter. I'm just saying, like, our burgers, you, you. we might as well... I'll, I might as well cook yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? We go I'm not even. It. I'm not even going on this side of the table. Yeah. How about you, Bert? Who's the most Fucking famous Fucking Free person? Beer and Hot Wings show. That's it. Okay. <laughs> that you were like, what Bert, the fuck are you doing at my show? I don't really get like famous people. I'm more of a man of the people. I'm not like a celebrity comedy yeah. guy. I'm like a man of the people, you know, man of the people type thing. Yeah. I'm the Burger King of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Lady Gaga. Holy shit. Do you even, do you, are you, do you know how great she is? Do I know how great she is? Like, no, I know you know, but like, do you, are you a fan? Like, her, me and I song is like. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a heart... big fan. A big fan. I, I went to go see her in concert. This is your. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Let me see what he, what yeah. he brings out. Um, all right. This box is tremendous. There's so many things. It's, it's a goodie box. It. Yeah. It's like Gallagher. Oh, I gotta make my sauce. Okay. Okay. Um,. You don't have any heart conditions, do you, Roy? It's beautiful. Look at that. I, I you, wish I, you know what I, you know Are what you I really look? taking a picture of his in front of me? <laughs> <laughs> in front of me? Yes. Oh, this, I didn't know we were doing pretty stuff, too. It said, it said in the uh, email, based on presentation as well. Oh, God damn it. I'm missing something, Rachel. Oh, my drizzle. Rachel, where did my thing go? Oh, oh. So you're just going mustard, huh? I've been there, done that. Three tablespoons. And let me get you a little spoon. That looks like I, I I'm reluctant to put the ketchup on. Oh come on. Oh. There you go. Just use this. Hold that. Yeah. Mix it up. Hey, can I get a squirt of ketchup on mine too? Yeah. One second. Ooh. <laughs> I love. I love it. That happened to you. <laughs> it just squirted right over the burger. It just went. Scoop. A little bit of relish. We got pickles. Do we have relish, Rach? Yeah, it's okay. You don't have a little sword, do you? Oh, oh no. You don't have swords? 
Cocktail sword. sword? Together. It's like a, Let me check the bar. Yeah, I went to bar. Whole Foods before this, yeah. and um, they didn't have them there. No. I wish I had it. That's all right. Oh shit! This looks good. Hey, are you lactose intolerant? No. Aren't all Asians lactose intolerant? I knew that joke was gonna go there. No, no. I, I'm I, from I, LA though, so. It's oh yeah, different. yeah. But so wait, is that is that more nurture versus nature? I think so. Really? I mean, this this bun is. I mean, this is the greasiest burger I've ever been a part of. <laughs> Okay, um, so my burgers are done. Okay, mine are right. almost done. This is uh, this is crew plate. Beautiful. Judge plate. So what? What? Uh, what? I, I gotta see what's going on. Yeah, over here. he's. Uh, yeah, let's just enjoy. Hey, give the, me a sec. Let's just enjoy the. Uh... Guys, have yourself have yourself a drink. Okay, mine's almost done. Is this my plate? Yes. You got, you got swords? swords. Oh, perfect. Yo, Rach, we got another plate? We got another plate? We're almost done. Let's see what you got. You got umbrellas? I got skewers. I can wipe this plate for him. Uh, this is <coughs> I kind of want to pick one here. But we definitely need a tomato, probably. You know what? I think we're going to raw dog it. OK. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> What's your take on um, Eating a burger. Do you like it sliced? I like it sliced in half. Sliced. Yeah, I'll probably slice it as soon as I. But I'll take this one from. Okay. It depends on the size of the burger. The size and. What do you. What do you this what do one you, you could eat, yeah. I think, as whole. All right. Asshole? <laughs> Asshole. Um. Wow. Oh, yeah. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. Uh. Oh, wow. 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 Oh. Wow, look at that. Let's do side by side here. There it is. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. That's nothing but the that's nothing but the works right there. It does look delicious. How many how many patties is that? Four patties. A total of eight, ten ounces. Mm. So super healthy. Tell me I'm gonna spin it for you. I'm gonna spin it for you. Ready? Go 360 on these bitches. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Little Donnell Rock. Oh, that by the way, that side I showed you at the first is the fucking Ooh, it looks like it came in his pants. Uh, let Sebastian do his thing. <laughs> I've already oh, chosen the winner in my mind. Oh, oh, I didn't know we were going to put pickles on the side, Sebastian. Oh, yeah, in case you want pickles. Just, I want it to be noted that there is a lot of stealing of ideas <laughs> yes. and ingredients There is here. an idea. <laughs> Look at there that. You go. Oh, you know he's going to be able to do this better than me. You know that. <laughs> Someone meme the fuck out of that. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. So, so I'm going to, so now I've done guys' grocery now? games. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to describe our burger, present it to you. OK. Each individually. Let me murder this so I'm better at it. <laughs> you put any right. vodka in this? OK, just a second. Oh. Roy. When I thought about making a burger, I thought I needed to make a burger for a guy who has a, a distinct taste palette from LA. I wanted to give you an in and out feel to a burger. Okay. I wanted to make it fun. I wanted to make it light. I wanted to make it big and, and, and say something when you saw it, kind of like me when I take my shirt off on stage. Okay. So uh, do you want to go ahead and take a bite of mine? But actually, mine might be burning hot. Okay, so should I eat it now or should I listen to Listen Sebastian. to Sebastian. Okay, all right, and then I'll eat both. Okay, um, what we have in the burger is just a ground beef, um, a little cheddar cheese, <laughs> some butter lettuce, yeah. some white onion, uh, an heirloom tomato. I put a little mustard, mayonnaise uh, mix in there, and just a dollop of uh, ketchup on a brioche bun. Now, my intention for the burger and watching you in your, uh, in your chef show on Netflix with John Favreau, I kind of got from that that you were kind of a meticulous guy. Yeah. I know you probably appreciate a burger that uh, you know was was neat and uh, had a nice presentation <laughs> uh, when cooking for a professional chef. Yes. I thought it would be nice to make the burger as professional as I possibly could. 
for your mouth. Now, looking at this, <laughs> this looks delicious. I'm not gonna deny yeah. it. I love what's happening here on the outer edge, uh, the, the, the sauce, the cheese, even the bun looks a little wet and damp. Yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate that. However, <clears throat> I think from, uh, and I'm no uh, connoisseur, I don't know how the hell you're gonna get your mouth around that. <laughs> uh, I just want you to take that in consideration okay. when judging. Also, I want the viewers, I don't know how this is gonna be edited. The view, there's no editing. Money, money for an editor? Well, if you need the money, I'll, just, I'll pitch in for editing. I'll take a look at it. Pickles were my idea, as you, as you yeah. notice, stolen. Uh, um, the oil? The oil, he used my oil, it's a grapeseed oil. He toasted his bun, I toasted my bun. A lot of ideas. Oh, that you got from Roy! <laughs> no, I was asking yeah. him. There was nothing he told me to do that I wouldn't have done yeah. coming. And the stick, which, uh, which you stole as well. I say we really put some stakes on this, okay? Okay. Whoever's burger, you deem the winner. Mm -hmm. Every time that person mentions tour dates on Instagram, they got to mention the other person's tour as well. Oh, those are some steaks. Wow. Are you into this? Yeah. Stay I'm hungry? I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. I, I do request after uh, you take a uh -huh. bite of her, his, if you are going to use his uh, uh, first, if you cleanse your palate <laughs> yes. with some water <laughs> okay. or some mint. Do we have any ginger? <laughs> a little spearmint ginger. <laughs> some coffee beans. <laughs> Just dunk your head in the uh, sauna. Toothpaste, uh, toothbrush. You got to admit, mine looks like they okay, if you, if you're, they okay, if you're gonna say, okay, ready? If you're gonna say one of these right here is the kind of sex you wanna have your, with your wife, mm -hmm. it's this one. It's like, oh shit, are we gonna do that? As opposed to like, oh cool, it's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not fucking. Yeah, we're, not, <laughs> we're eating burgers. We're eating burgers. We're eating. Um, this is a beautiful burger. This it, is delicious looking too, so let's see. If I could just. I think, I, I think, based on, just on sight alone, mine might be a little overdone. That's the only concern I have, the temperature. But, can't do anything about All right, it now. which one are you gonna start with, Roy? Well, I gotta start with you first. All right. <laughs> All right, oh yeah, yeah, you gotta crush oh, that wow. bad bitch. Oh, wow, crush fuck it? Yeah. Oh. oh, look oh. at that. Oh, Roy, Wait, come on, man! Sex come on! Life, Oh God, I'm gonna run a train on that with you. Mm. I mean, ju even just look at the way this is now. Mm. You, how do you go? Oh, Bert. wow, right? Bert. That's good. That's I'm good. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. That's mm -hmm. good, all right, let's see what prom sex looks that. like. I don't know if <laughs> Good, let's the bun see is toasted. Yeah. The sauce on every layer, the onions come through. The meat is cooked great. Cheese, how was the cheese? Cheese was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five yeah, year yeah. cheddar. Yeah. Ooh. All right, here we go. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, mm -hmm. damn. This looks like it's holding together better than mine. Mm -hmm. oh, I know. I know what Sebastian's thinking. What are you thinking? One word. I'm thinking I'm lacking in in the juice area. Mm. Oh, I, please. Do you know how much I want a guy who sells four shows out of Madison Square Garden <laughs> just once, just in one <laughs> post, to go? Body Shots World Tour and take his shirt off. That's all I want. That's all I want. Just that's all. Oh. Just rip his shirt off. Body Shots World Tour. Defeated. Oh, that's, you got a trophy? Oh man, I didn't know you had a oh. trophy. This is a tough one. Oh, 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 oh we're going here right now. We're going here yeah, right we're now. Going Should here. we each take a bite of our own bur uh, each other's burgers? Yeah, and tell yeah us take what a you bite. Think? Take, take a bite. You can go from the that, that way. Back, um, uh, I knew you were doing that. You don't think <laughs> you're not going right where his mouth was? <laughs> Why were you going? Go, 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 no, no, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. It's a lot of taste. It's a lot of taste. <laughs> yeah. right, here we go. I'm gonna try mine, then I'm gonna mm. try yours. And by the way, oh, wow! I tell you what caught me off guard: the crispness of the bun. Yeah, the bun really works. All right, I'm coming in. I'm coming I know in. already. I'm going to reserve my opinion until the trophy is um, I'm given out. But I know I, 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 that's all I needed. There's something about, yeah, I'll okay. wait. Okay. I'm going to tell you 
I'm going to tell you my thoughts right now. You can't influence my decision. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. Wait, wait, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. What, one second. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Take in the whole thing. Yeah, the, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've taken in every, everything, every aspect. It's a tough one. It's really tough. I'm, I still have Sebastian's in my mouth, and I want a second bite. Oh, shit. This is really hard. This, this is almost like... It's really hard. Who do you like better, because Irish people too, or, or English people? Yeah, because you know? they're totally different um, in the styles and in the flavors. It's almost unfair to compare the two together. All right, then we're going to do this. Let's tear it, okay? Okay. We're going to say this. Because they're two completely different burgers. Yeah. So that, that's what's unfair. They really are two completely yeah. different burgers. And I think they represent our styles of comedy equally. <laughs> uh, they, 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 they do. <laughs> Uh, what were you gonna, how, how are you going to tear this? What are you, yeah, yeah. What are you saying? I, I was going to say, a... I was gonna say we, we, we tear it with going like, what burger would you like better at this event versus this event versus this event versus this event and then the winner? I know this is your show. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's just solely on okay. that, you know. Let's do it. I, I Let's do it. You know, we, it's we solely can... on the bite mm -hmm. with some background information on how it was made. Oh, okay. That, yeah, so... <laughs> With all of that in consideration, and knowing that these are two very different burgers that- I feel like I'm most... on Last Comic Standing 2 right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was on Last Comic Standing 2 and I hate this fucking feeling. I can't believe how competitive I am. But you win. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I beat Sebastian! I, I'm sorry, Sebastian. That, that was <laughs> <sad>. <laughs> oh! Oh, my <laughs> It was a shock to me as well. Oh! <laughs> it was a complete shock. I just, I, I, I just no had to put a caveat. It was a complete shock. I really like this guy. I want to be friends with him. I want him to be on the chef show. I love his comedy. I was rooting for this burger. I had no intention of giving this to Bert. But Bert's bite was... A lot of taste. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> right, I want to hey, think. I uh, want to think. <laughs> you, go ahead. You got to speak. Just a little seasoning. Yeah. Mm. See, I That's told you. It. I that was it. Coming that in. was oh, it. Fuck. If you had the seasoning, all of the elements would have outshined this mm -hmm. because of the heirloom tomato, the butter lettuce, the onions. It was just the seasoning. Yeah. Come on in, Rachel. I, I gotta, I gotta thank Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, help me with the idea of the pram making of this burger. <laughs> this is Rachel. If you guys want to hire anyone, she is so worth it. Yeah. She is the most valuable person on our team. All of you guys can suck it. I need her. Um, None oh, of us God. expected this. I did not see this coming at all. The last meal I made for you, you <laughs> walked out of I my house. I walked out. I literally walked out without a goodbye. Oh, Sebastian, how shocked are you? Uh, you know, after <laughs> tasting your burger, I'm not that shocked because I said that that has a lot of flavor. Although the presentation might not be as as yeah. nice as mine, your yours is definitely has a lot of flavor, a lot of seasoning. The, <laughs> it, it's it de definitely better than mine. I, I have to give it up to you. Oh. I just don't like the way you're behaving right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so shocked I won! I'm so shocked I won! I can't believe it! So, all we need is one promo read where you rip your shirt off and say Body Shots World Tour. <laughs> and, we'll, and Judy, let's promote the, 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 the winter dates in January. That would be a good one, right? Okay, <laughs> this is the fucking greatest day of my life. By the way, I was hung over this morning shaking, going, how am I going to cut onions? I need a drink when I get there. And then I was like, I'm probably not going to drink. And then I was like, oh, I definitely had the first drink. I was like, I'm definitely drinking. Oh, shit, it's Roy and Sebastian. Sebastian's killing. Oh, this is going to be great. And then I saw his burger. I was like, fuck, I don't understand a chance. And then all of a sudden, I looked at my burger. And I was like, whoa, soaking in bacon grease. Everyone loves bacon grease. <laughs> Today is one of the greatest days of my life. I don't, I don't want it to end right now. I don't want it to end. Do you know when they start playing the music and they're like, time to go off stage? And now I get that feeling. <sighs> did, did, just, just, just so we have a button up on this, <laughs> did, did um, the oh. presentation <laughs> at all have any? It had a lot to do with it. It was neck and neck. <laughs> But I won! But, but I won. fucking won! But I fucking won! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Yeah. Congratulations, bro. <laughs> it was... It was a true shocker. A fucking it was, drooling! This is a, this is the, uh, a reverse Cinderella story. Oh. This is... 
I d actually don't know how I feel about this. I'm so <laughs> fucking. This is the. This is. I hope. I hope. This is. I. I can't believe I won. <laughs> if you if you knew it was gonna be like this, would it would have went to me? Oh, <laughs> you yeah, I, I think I would. <laughs> he looks like me. I mean. I mean, I don't even know how to compare it. Like everything about this. Um, this has been the greatest episode I've ever done. Of our, I think we might never do another episode. I think we, I think this is the season ending episode. This is the grand finale. Guys, I'm not topping this. What am I call Brad Williams again and get him to fall out of a chair? No, it never gets better than this. It never gets better than this. Guys, this episode of Something's Burning is the final episode you'll ever see. Thank you so much for tuning in. I won. I lost. <laughs> I am sweating. I'm laughing so fucking hard. <laughs> oh, well. Good job, guys. Got some tasteless burgers here for anybody watching. <laughs>